Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really well. So, the title of this reading is No Contact. So what's next for us? Before I get started, I just want to say an enormous thank you to all of those of you who voted on my latest community uh, poll. Uh, this was the reading that got the most votes. So here I am today undertaking your reading. Um, I do these very often, so if you want to just, you know, check out my community tab from time from time to time, then you'll get the opportunity to vote on what reading you'd like next. Um, I also just want to quickly mention, I'm so close now uh, to 25,000 subscribers, just 40 or so away. So uh, today, even right now, uh, you know, you could just go ahead and subscribe. Um, and of course, if you do find this reading helpful, I'd also be so grateful for your thumbs up. Um, so let's go ahead with this reading now. No contact. What's next for us? So for this reading, all you need to do is picture your person in your mind, imagine them, and then choose between these three sets of cards here. This is set of cards number one, this is set of cards number two, and this is set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. So right now, I'm gonna place aside set of cards number two, and this set of cards number three, so I can go ahead now with this set of cards number one. And this is an in-depth relationship reading for you and the person on your mind. Looking into the energies and feelings between you, your past, your present, your future. Uh, with the focus being on the fact that right now there is no contact. So let's go ahead. Going ahead now with set of cards number one. So let's get these cards placed down i just want to quickly mention if you ever would like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me all the details are in that description box below you can book via etsy or paypal i also do offer a reading uh, seven days a week with a turnaround time of within 24 hours so let's go ahead now you and your energies in this connection them and their energies in this connection your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. Here is our clarifying card. So let's go ahead now. So you are being represented by judgment, them by the empress. So this is powerful just immediately, okay? Um, the major arcanas, so there's strong, strong, strong energy here between you two. Judgment is the card of literally wanting a rebirth, a new beginning, okay? This is where you're coming from here. They are being represented by the emperors. So this is literally, you know, we just look at how incredibly beautiful the person is on this card. This represents beauty, it represents abundance, it can represent fertility. It, it's just all consuming ultimately. It, you know, they, they find you so incredible that this is what you need to know deep down at the core. Um, let's continue. Let's take a look at this past position, okay? So when we see the Nine of Pentacles, we see strong independence. Um, we can see a single person, okay? Um, this could represent uh, several scenarios. It could be that you two have never yet been in a connection together. And with this Empress energy, I do see that, you know, and this judgment, it could be that you two are literally looking at each other from a distance, okay? Sort of like I'm getting the energy of looking each other up online, things like that. I'm also getting the other energy um, that this could have been kind of like quite a recent split for you two, okay? And um, the Nine of Pentacles, it can, it can be, it can, you know, it can be about kind of not being quite ready, 
okay? Not being quite ready to do the Ten of Pentacles, which is the long-term commitment. So it, again, it could be that there has been a recent split because one or both of you weren't ready for this. Um, so bear that in mind. I had something else coming through then with this Nine of Pentacles. Um, let's take a card. I, I do see somebody finding their own way here in this Nine of Pentacles, okay? The need for that. Let's take a card for the past. Yeah, there's some strong need for, for somebody in this connection. In the past, there's been the strong need to find their own way to go on their own solo journey, okay? Um, I feel like it's like sort of part of the path here for you two, okay? Because I see how incredible these energies are. Let's take a card for both of you. Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you know, you, you may well have had to have yourself taken a step back, okay? Um, especially as we have the Eight and then the Nine of Pentacles. This is like solo work, okay? Um, ooh, the Tower. Okay, so if you were the person to take the step back, because you felt the need, okay? You f you felt the need for, for the several scenarios here, but you did feel the need, okay? Um, and I am getting that they, they, they sort of like dished something out to you. And so you said, well, okay then, if, if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. And... And I'm strong and I'm independent. I can see how strong and independent you are. Um, what you do need to know, okay, is for however way, whatever way this is resonating, whatever the scenarios are, and there will be a multitude of them, you do need to know they find you exceptional in every way. And now they are having their tower moment, okay? Their energy towards you, yeah. I think there's this deep realisation that you are the essence of everything for them. You represent everything they could they could want. Okay? Were they a fool here? Were, were you the person truly working on this? But they they felt like they needed to go on the their journey. It was all I see is that it was necessary, okay? It was necessary for them to discover new parts of themselves. And to discover the importance of you in their life. I feel like you can't see this right now, okay, with this moon energy. There's some disillusionment here for you. Let's take a look. Seven of Cups, okay. So right now, you know, th th this does truly represent the fact, you know, that there is, because of the lack of contact and communication, there is confusion on both sides about how the other one's feeling right now, okay? Um, there are, there, there could well be also the, the acknowledgement that there are big, um, big decisions, big emotional decisions to make here, okay? One of the strong scenarios is a split here, okay? Um, and they want you back but they don't know how you feel anymore. Let's take this card going forwards. Okay. This is my... I'm, so, I'm sort of renaming this card. This is the card of the gut. This is the card of gut instincts. Okay. And... I do feel if people would just trust their gut more... Things would work out. Things things would tr 
truly had, I think they would be headed in the right direction okay um, however I'm also seeing the fact that you, the instincts are here on both sides but they it can mean that the things do remain hidden for a time okay i'm going to take this outcome card now it's called the outcome card but it's much more than this it's the overarching energy for the whole reading the big message the universe wants you to hear the clarity the guidance and the prediction so let's take a look mm. two of wands so you know, it does not surprise me to see this, okay? You two are looking at each other from a distance. This is what kind of came through right at the beginning, okay? Um, now, the Two of Wands is actually positive energy um, because it's the card of planning, okay? So I feel there is maybe not, it's not going to be so apparent just like, tomorrow or something like that but i feel that you two are always in each other's sights okay and there's gonna be movement it's the one's energy it's very energetic um let's take a look healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment so you know there's a strong potential here for things to truly move forwards let's take To begin with, a card for overall clarity, guidance, and prediction. Yeah, shy offerings, okay? It's kind of like somebody needs to... Uh, make the first move this is what i'm getting here we've got kind of trepidation okay this shy energy with the high priestess the two of wands and the page of pentacles but there's gonna be movement forwards here for you two that's what i see for you two next okay um it's very energetic what we've got here okay we've got the wands energy which is about action we've got pentacles energy which is about earthly manifestation okay it's just kind of like this shy energy to begin with okay but i feel like there's going to be some movement in the right direction coming up for you too that's what i see is happening next okay uh, i'll leave that one there uh, i really hope that you found it helpful again i just want to mention um if you'd like a personal reading all the details are there to book and if you did find this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful if right now you could just give that um, thumbs up button a click. And thank you so much. Um, so right now I'm going to move on to set of cards number two. Right now, I'm moving on to this set of cards, number two, no contact, what's next for us? And this is an in-depth relationship reading with the focus being on that very question, okay? So let's get these cards placed down. Um, I just want to quickly mention, if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me, all the details are in that description box below. You can book via Etsy, or PayPal and I do offer a reading uh, that's delivered within 24 hours uh, seven days a week so let's go ahead with this reading now uh, you and your energies in this connection them and their energies in this connection your feelings towards them their feelings towards you your past together present together future together and the outcome card never to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted and here is our clarifying card so let's go ahead now. You and your energies, nine of wands. So you've, you, you've got barriers 
in place here, okay? There's no doubt about that. Um, the Nine of Wands, we just look at the depiction on the Nine of Wands, okay? And this person literally has a bandage around their head. So something here has happened between you that's really made you have to sort of protect your energy, okay? This is what the Nine of Wands is about. Um, let's continue. And I also got the message, protect your territory. I also got that, okay? Um, let's, let's continue. Them and their energy, the Page of Pentacles. Let's take a look at this past position, the sun. Oh, oh, beautiful. Um, so I know just how happy you two do make each other, okay? You two could have children together. You two could have been, you two could have been headed towards um, real, true, deep commitment here, okay? Um, there's a lot of uh, real joy in the past, between you two and I feel like there could have been plans here okay and I feel this is why now um, you are the nine of wands because something must have gone drastically wrong um, for to go from the Sun energy in the past to the nine of wands here okay you could be dealing with somebody who was younger than you you could be dealing with somebody who um, is how do I describe this they don't need to be younger but they're not as mature as you are they're not as emotionally mature as you are okay I'm really interested to see um, these next cards now uh, their energy towards you oh so okay I I'm getting the energy here that this person was not expecting what happened, okay? Um, they were not expecting to develop such intense, deep feelings for you. Um, I feel like for some of you, they could have been, you know, I hate to say it, but they could have, like, have had other options, okay? And they were keeping the options open. Um, and, you know, did you find out, okay, did you find out what they were doing? Uh, and this has made you go, okay, okay, right, I, I can't do this. Um, and the thing is, is you may well have put these barriers in place now, and now they are tr truly regretting their actions, because without you, they realise that all the, uh, they know all the other options, they don't, they don't matter to them. Okay, because it was you that they fell for. Because the energy towards you, the Ten of Swords, they're, they're, they're kind of like devastated here. This is a painful ending. This is a painful ending for them. Now, I want to take uh, three more cards for them here. Maybe worth you looking at set of cards number one because the clarifying card in this exact position was also the tower. Okay, um, so bear that in mind. Um, if you'd like, go back and check set of cards number one also. Um, I'm getting quite. I'm getting like a similar energy here. That yeah, the, the look like we've got the tower and the ten of swords. They there's regret here with them looking like in another direction. Okay. Um, four of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Oh my goodness. There's an ego here as well. You know, you need to be aware of this. This is somebody who does not want to admit to what they did wrong. Okay? And they've literally locked themselves down here with this Four of Swords. They're distracting themselves. They've locked themselves away. Um, the 
they're, they could be acting as though everything's fine and hunky-dory, but believe me, they're not fine and hunky-dory, okay? Um, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, Five of Swords. So, you know, this is can be the card of another person, okay? Um, this tells me that they, they just didn't, they, they truly, they, they regret that they, that they were, they literally could have been messing around here, okay? Um, you know, you two could literally have been dating, but it became very apparent very rapidly that the feelings were real here and they were strong, but they, they didn't. They, they knew it deep down at their core. But they're immature. And you can see this in them. Okay. And they could have been playing some mind games with you as well. I have to say. They could have been. Um, there's a want and desire deep down at the core for you two to give this another go. That's what I'm seeing with the three of pentacles. Um, okay. The... I feel you are dealing with someone who's very immature, actually, because um, the King of Cups can be really positive, but uh, it can also mean just understand me. You need to understand me. And um, ultimately, it's more like they need to get a deeper understanding of themselves here, and they kind of know it. Um, I'm drawn to the eyes on this King, okay? um yeah so let's take this outcome card now it's called the outcome card but it's much more than this it's the overarching energy for the whole reading the big message the universe wants you to hear the clarity the guidance and the prediction and i have to say also that you are very strong here and i feel like you should stay strong um absolutely do not um it's kind of like the it's not like taunting but they are testing the waters here to see if you're going to be kind of the one who's going to break first so bear that in mind um let's take a look the queen of swords but you're not going to okay you're not going to um you know that you need to hear strong honest open communication you need to hear the truth i feel like there's a there's a depth a real depth and maturity to you and that you actually could forgive all of this okay um you could uh, but not without honesty from them. Not without honest, not without on, honest, open communication. Um, let's take a card for overall clarity, guidance, and prediction. They're gonna have to give a lot more. That, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, you want the real deal, okay? It. You're not putting up with anything that isn't defined, that doesn't have a label. Um, you're not messing around anymore. Um, I feel like there's possibilities here for you too. But the strong cautionary energy is for you to be unwilling to be messed around anymore, which is why you are the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords. And this is why you must remain in that energy, okay, for the time being. I feel like there is movement forwards here, but they've got a lot of work to do on themselves. Um, let's take a look at this card. When you pass, pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories of the memories you have shared with those you love. That's kind of like the energy they need to be moving into, okay? Because they do love you. They have fallen for you. And now they need to take action. And I feel like there is going to be ha action here going forwards from them. Okay, so there we go. I'll leave that one there. I really hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I would be so grateful if you could just hit that thumbs up button right now. And if you subscribe, you'll catch my next reading. So right now, I'm going to move on to set of cards number three. So right now, I'm moving on to this set of cards number three, no contact, what's next for us? And 
Um, this is an in-depth relationship reading for you and the person on your mind with the focus being on that very question. No contact, what's next for us? So let's get these cards placed down. I just want to quickly mention, if you would ever like uh, a personal reading with me, all of the details to book are in that description box below. You can book via Etsy or via PayPal. I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours that's available seven days a week. So right now, let's go ahead. You and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together, and the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here is our clarifying card. So let's go ahead. You are the Eight of Wands. So I can see that you desperately want to hear from your person, okay? Uh, this is what the Eight of Wands is about. It's about uh, hearing the good news, okay? Um, let's go deeper. Um, Nine of Swords for them. And let's take a look at this past card, okay? Oh, okay. So, um, wow. Th this is difficult energy. You know, the strong uh, energy here of the could well have been you know, a, a split between you two, okay? Um, and it's been a, a very, it's kind of like that substantial energy I'm getting here because we've got a major arcana here in in the past position. It represents, you know, literally a, an ending here. Um, what you do need to know, okay, is they are, they are feeling this a lot, okay? You're in different energies. You are... You are kind of like in action mode. You want to hear from them. You want to sort this out. You want to take this forwards. I see this, okay? They are the Nine of Swords. So they are in a very bad headspace right now, okay? This is the card of uh, anxiety, sleepless nights. Um, so that's kind of like where we're at immediately let's continue that energy towards you that they they want to heal this also you need to know okay um it's kind of like you, your energies you're you're feeling it differently right now okay um now i i i don't really want to go into astrological signs but i'm getting the energies here you know like that you, you could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, or have it somewhere in your chart. You could also be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Because for you, it's about um, ultimately uh, taking action, okay, with this one's energy. It's about taking action. Them, they're in kind of like a different headspace. They're kind of like three or four steps behind you as regards the ability to um to take any action because this is about the mind this is about the heart okay so this is about just existing in the mind and this is about wanting to heal but it's all it's all about deep emotion in the mind okay um so bear that in mind so let's take a look your energy towards them yeah more pentacles energy from you you are wanting you're needing them to match your energy, okay? I want to take a card for the past and a card for both of you. So, a card for the past, for you, for them. Oh my goodness, we've got it twice. Oh, okay. Okay. So, it's, it's very, very intense, very, very clearly. So, the death card has two distinct meanings, okay? One, it represents an ending. Two... It represents the want for transformation. And here it is. We've literally got the death card twice. Okay. So I see deep down you both want this to transform. Um, 
nine of pentacles here for you. You are very strong. You know that they didn't give you enough and that it's got to come from them and you are staying strong as you should. Nine of pentacles. Their energy, oh, that deep heart energy. Okay, again, they're feeling it all, but they can't act on it yet. Okay? They love you. Two of cups. Let's take a look at this present card. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not very often I get three cards in a row that look like this. This shows me deep intensity between you two. Okay? The strong twin flame energy here. Um, there's kind of like the, the, the moment that you two laid eyes on each other, you knew. You knew you'd met your person. It doesn't make it an easy road. In fact, sometimes it can make it really hard. Okay, because all sorts of fears can come into it because you know that that's your person. Okay, and you don't want to lose them. And here we are, the devil energy right in the center. Okay, the lovers having a really, really, really difficult, tough time. Okay, um, let's take this card going forwards, Knight of Swords. This is them. They are going to come back towards you here, the Knight of Swords. And it is going to be unexpected because you, you, you think it as well. You think that whatever happens from them, it would be unexpected. And you also know it needs to be substantial and it needs to change everything. And that's what the Knight of Swords does with a conversation. And this is where they need to get to. Okay, but I feel like they are coming back towards you here. So let's take this outcome card now. Um, oh my goodness, the Ace of Pentacles. This is good, okay? This is about a new beginning. And it, you know it's got to come from them. And it's, it's, it's on its way. How incredible. Manifestation in the 3D. So let's take this card now. So if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for your heart is the gateway to the soul. This is all about, this is, this is about them, them, them accessing their heart and then acting on it. That's what they need to do and they know it. And they need to bring it into the 3D. So I do see a way forwards here for you two, okay? It's very, very intense though. So there we go. Uh, I'll leave the reading there. I so hope you found it helpful. Um, if you did, I'd be so grateful uh, for that thumbs up right now. And if you subscribe, then you'll catch my next reading. Thank you so much. Bye.